one starts us off on Saturday lunchtime and then the other is on Sunday afternoon. Chelsea versus Manchester City is the game that kicks us underway this weekend. First versus fifth, two teams who know how to score goals. Thomas Tuchel has the upper hand over Pep Guardiola in recent meetups. Could he continue this streak this weekend? I think he does. Mm. I'm going off based on what I've seen this season, and I think Chelsea managed games better. Yeah. And look at Man City with all the possession of football in the world. Where's their main threat? Well, yeah, you don't really know who it is. There's no clinical edge. Mm. I think it's going to be a close one like we've had in the recent meetings between these two sides. I don't think it'll be like a complete goal fest personally, but I do like you say, I think Chelsea edge this one and continue their perfect, well, near perfect start to the season. I think so. I mean, then again, Chelsea just know how to manage it, as we said. Like, Lukaku is the difference maker. Mm. As we were, he's added the only thing that Chelsea missed last season, which was the goals. Yeah. Their like top goal scorer is Jorginho, and most of his goals are from the penalty spot. Exactly. He's already close to matching that, isn't he? <laughs> well, yeah. I think it's going to be an interesting to see which one of the city's defenders, uh, whether it be Ruben Diaz or Nathan Aki, comes up against Lukaku. You would say Diaz on paper, and uh, if we go against the previous battle that Lukaku had to face, like big name centre half, it obviously Virgil Van Dijk. Can you say Van Dijk had the upper hand in that game when Chelsea played Liverpool? Can I think you'll find it was Courtney Hawes last night. <laughs> Will the same be for... Did not say that tackle is beautiful? <laughs> uh, do you think Diaz will have the same amount of success as Van Dijk did, or do you think he will also struggle like the others have? It's weird, because I think with Lukaku, you have to be on him. You can't give him time to do anything, pretty much. So if Diaz obviously sticks close, it forces Lukaku to start thinking, right, I- I've got to try and do something here that gets him away from me. Yeah. But who knows? But you think that they would be planning for this. Oh. And City, we've seen not documentaries before and how much they prepare for these sort of things. Yeah. And obviously Guardiola will be very keen to get a result uh, in City's favour this weekend. As They haven't won against Tuchel's uh, Chelsea side yet, have they? I don't recall them doing so now. Uh, the last meeting between these two sides was... Champions League form. Yeah, Champions League. I was thinking Community Shield, but that was Leicester versus Man City, wasn't it? It was. Uh, so, what, three months back now? Was it start of June or end of May? Champions League final now. I can't remember. So it was June. But yes. Um, no, maybe, maybe end of May. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, I, th- I don't see City winning this for all the goodness they've had to start this season. Um, obviously, didn't do anything last time out against Southampton, but... I'd expect them to do quite similar against Chelsea in terms of like dictating play in terms of possession. Um, but I think they're going to have a bit more, or they need to have more shots on target than just that one. Well, no, it's the goals they need. They have all the shots on target they like. Oh well, yeah, they've got to actually put it in the net. Yeah, I mean they haven't been too bad this season. Scored eleven goals. Only the top three have scored more than them this season, uh, being Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester United. But I think it, that's the problem City have had is, yes, they're scoring goals, but it's, that's where the need for the striker was because especially that last game against Southampton, if they had an actual striker in for that game, they would have easily put three or four past Southampton, you would uh, assume so. 